how to set up custom emails in Shopify 2023 and the two easiest methods that there are. Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. I bring you back with yet another, you know, topic. And in this topic, we are going to be talking about Shopify and how you're going to be using this incredible, incredible e-commerce store based app to, you know, import uh different emails different custom emails that you can set up with this platform now why do we use custom emails it's because custom emails could be you know your basic custom business emails that you want to get emails on on your shopify you know because on your personal email you don't want to get every single notification about shopify now the reason for that is your personal email is for personal stuff your business email is for business related stuff okay and on your business email you're going to get business related stuff like you know how your shopify is doing you can get your analytics you can get your latest purchase uh, if there's an abandoned cart all that okay so you get the basic you know idea of it so pretty incredible and easy stuff to get your head behind now to you know go more in depth and detail with these things what you can do to actually get a general idea of the two methods that i'm going to be providing you is uh, you're going to open up your shopify store okay and you're going to go ahead to your shopify settings okay now once you go ahead into your shopify settings what's gonna come here is uh you know up here where it says store email and this is your basic store email okay you also might see a sender email over here but obviously we see that there is no sender email for us so obviously we're going to be changing that so first of all to change that you're gonna mess around with your domain name okay and to mess around with your domain name what you're going to do is you're going to go over to domains now once you're in domains obviously as you can see here is my one domain so email forwarding is done when you buy a domain so we want to buy a domain name and set up email forwarding domain must be purchased from shopify like if you want email forwarding and you want a custom email with your name on it domain should be purchased with shopify you can't use any external platform like people use hosting your bluehost godaddy etc we don't want that we want to use the services provided to us by Shopify itself okay so to buy a new domain using Shopify just click on buy new domain and once you click on buy new domain basically it's gonna load on the different uh, levels and types of domain so it gives you examples so let's say I'm just gonna add this and as you can see it gives us you know this.com this.net etc so pretty great stuff and now once you buy the domain what's gonna happen like once you get the domain, which is primarily for your online stores on Shopify, what's going to happen is the name of your domain, like let's say it's uh, adam.com or adam.store. Now you can turn that into adam.com or adam.store at gmail.com or adam.com.gmail.com. So you could use those as your forwarding email addresses. So all you're, as I told you, all you're going to need is an actual custom domain that you buy yourself. And from there on out, it's just a piece of cake to start, you know, messing around with the external things of your page. Okay. So, you know, uh, as I tell you, pretty basic and easy stuff to, you know, add to your page. And um, another great method that we are going to be discussing, like, obviously, this was email forwarding. And again, email forwarding is, you know, a very uh straightforward step it's a step that isn't too difficult to get your head around you know it's just basic email and it's just basic email forwarding and uh yeah in general we get the whole idea of it now to mess around with these things more in depth you can also go ahead into store details and once you add your basic forwarding email it's going to appear down here in the form of sender email now, in the form of sender email, when it appears, it's your job to, you know, make sure that uh, it works accordingly and it works well with your host's, uh, you know, requirements and everything. If it works well with your domain's requirements. Don't make sure that it doesn't coincide uh, in names with the, the different, you know, applications of the host's name and all that. So, yeah, basically that's uh, how we're gonna do all of this for ourselves and uh, yeah once you've discovered this way uh, let's go ahead and talk about the next 
uh, you know, technique or the next method that we are going to use for our basic custom email setting up. So uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, the next method, which is the second method, is email hosting. OK, and uh, email hosting is a bit different than email forwarding or, you know, your domain buying. Email hosting basically is paid email service, and this allows you to send and receive emails using a proper email service, not like a domain or anything like in the domain section. If we go, obviously, you can see the domain section is, you know, your basic uh, outlook at uh, a domain that you currently have. If you switch to email hosting, basically what that will do is you can switch to a third party email hosting to send or receive emails from Shopify manage domains. You can connect a Google Workspace or a Zoho account. Now, we're obviously going to go with a Google Workspace account because a Google Workspace account is basically a business Google account. And as I stated before in the video, a business account is extremely vital to, you know, steps and things like these. And the reason for that is because a Google business account allows you to, you know, get a domain. Because obviously, when you make a Google business account, a domain is necessary. Without a domain, you cannot get a Google business account. So once you get a domain and you get a Google account, from there on out, automatically you have an email and a domain. And from there on out, just connect it as a third party email provider with your Shopify. And what that's going to do is it's obviously going to give you your custom sender's email name as well. But the one downside to this is whatever your Google business email is, that is going to be your sender's email. The upside to, you know, connecting a domain is that you can choose your very own sender's email address. Like you can choose a custom name. But yeah, that's the issue with Google business address. So yeah, uh, do keep that in mind. But it doesn't really matter, I guess, at the end of the day to like what your name is and everything. It is a custom email that you added by yourself. If you want to choose a name for the sender's email address and you want to follow the email hosting method, then do make sure to keep the same name that you want to keep on the sender's email address on your, you know, Google business uh, email address. So, yeah, you know, pretty easy, great and uh, amazing stuff that, you know, we've seen today. And it's really easy to get your head around these things because these are like, you know, basic uh, of the top of the crop uh, tips and tricks that uh, you can get for Shopify and all of its different features. So, yeah, basically, that is about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making more for you. But yeah, until then, that was all from me and I will be seeing all of you incredible people next time. Do make sure to share, comment, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned for more content like this in the upcoming times. Thank you for watching till the end and we'll be seeing each other next time. Goodbye.